Well. Yes, you guys, welcome back to the Good Day Mobile Boutique Salon and Spa. We found out that onions don't really grow your eyebrows, and coffee under the eyes could potentially, you know, help with those under eye circles. Now, we're going to tell you about another beauty blogger who uses cornstarch to do what is called baking of the face. Apparently, it's kind of considered a, like a finishing powder, so to speak. So once you have your all whole face done, you are supposed to sprinkle some of it out, and we have a video as well that we can kind of show you. Use a sponge or a brush. And then it's supposed to be kind of like a finishing powder. Oh, oh cheeks first. OK. Uh, that makes and sense. And then you let it bake on the face. Now, I'm going to say this, though. There was a dermatologist who did not recommend doing this because he said that it's considered a food product, therefore could put yeast and fungus on your skin. Nah, so what does he know? Nah, you know? what does he know? You know, I mean, beauty, you know, the price of beauty can be costly. Right. Hold on. The price Hold of beauty. On. So, do you need like fungus. a heat lamp this or just, anything to bake it into the face? Does this no? look just like the. Oh, we're supposed to do it really good under here, too. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, it looks just like okay. what's happening in the video. Does it look just like exactly. the picture? Exactly. Okay. Totally. Nailed All right. it. Okay. Let's do a... Oh, yeah. You got to blend it all in. Yeah. Here we go. Totally. Absolutely, Mel. Makes me a little paler. But... No, it's a nice clean finish, though. It's a nice, smooth, clean finish. Yes, you know, um, here's another DIY. If you want to do it yourself, you can do half a tablespoon of cornstarch and a teaspoon of baby powder because it has talc. It's supposed to also do that same kind of thing. Okay. Doesn't hurt. It's not irritating or anything like not that. Yet. And I will say, I actually use a loose translucent face powder as part of my normal routine. Yeah. But this can be a little costly because if you're going to let it bake, you could even let it sit there for a few minutes to really set in. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, you always look fantastic, mm. but it's a nice clean yeah. finish, Mel. Yeah. Nice Good clean answer, finish. Yeah. Ken. Yeah. But also, I, I want to ask about the huh? baking part. So you have to keep it on your face all day and like let sun get into it, or what do they mean by bake? I mean, I guess it's just you let it set and oh, then okay. you brush the rest away. Yeah. Whatever it. doesn't set. I don't know if I quite have enough though. Oh yeah, you could always oh, use more. Boy. Yeah. There, there you go. Can. By the yeah. end of the day, you'll now make a. Now I'm ready for now the day. You're ready. By the end of the day, you'll make a lovely. I don't special. have. <laughs> <laughs> like a little funnel, funnel cake, right? There you go. <laughs> nice job, right. Mel. On that boutique. Note. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Send it back to you. <laughs> come, come. Nice job. Good.